All right, coming to you live from Round Rock, I'm here with Jose De La Rosa, software engineer on the Linux side. Jose, how are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you, Martin? I'm doing well. So you did some uh, containerization. Can you tell us first what you containerized and, and why? Yes, so about 12 months ago, I started looking at Docker containers and tried to figure out what the big deal was about it. And the one thing that I learned is that containers make it a lot easier to deploy applications. So we looked at internal Dell applications that we could potentially containerize and deliver those benefits to our customers. So I took a look at Open Manage Server Administrator, better known as OMSA, and went out on a mission to see if we could containerize it. So this is what we have today. We have Open Manage for uh, several Linux distributions. We have it for RHEL 7, for RHEL 6, we have another version for SLES 11, for SLES 12. In addition to that, we also have customers who run other distributions such as Ubuntu, Debian, and CentOS that also ask for that ask for OMSA. We don't have we don't support those distributions. We have um, some versions of Open Manage that we have compiled, but it's unsupported. So as you can see, it's it's kind of a mess with a lot of distributions um, here in, in the mix. What we have today, after we were able to successfully containerize Open Manage, is over here. So now Open Manage can run in a container. We standardize on a CentOS image, and now it doesn't really matter what Linux distribution you run on your host. You could be running RHEL, SLES, CentOS, Ubuntu, and Debian. It doesn't really matter because, as far as Open Manage is concerned, it's running inside of a CentOS image. So now our customers who run Ubuntu and Debian unsupported operating systems now have the added benefit that they can they can run it. In, in those operating systems. In addition to that, Open Manage now is very easy to install and deploy. It's as easy as running Docker Pool and Docker Run. Awesome. So what are some of the things you learned uh, while going through this process, the good, the bad, the ugly? Well, I was a little bit concerned at the beginning because Open Manage is a legacy application. It's not what you will call a microservice. So I was just a little skeptical whether it was going to work or not. And because in addition that it's a big, little bit bloated uh, application, it's also it's several, it runs several applications uh, inside, and and so there were some concerns, but we, it was able it was able to run successfully. We there were there were a couple of workarounds that we had to implement, and they they can be seen in the Docker file that I've uploaded to Docker Hub. But uh, in the end, it was successful. Uh, even though it's, uh, with those minor minor quirks that we have to do, but it's, uh, it really runs it runs fine. So just to conclude with, you mentioned uh, you put it up on on Docker Hub. Where do where do people go, and what do you want them to do? So what you can do this thing to do, you can go to Linux Linux .com Docker, and it will take you to um, uh, a blog site, a Dell blog site, where you can uh, see. Reads but it has specific instructions on how to deploy and how to run uh, open managing a container. Awesome. Jose De La Rosa, thank you so much. Thank you.